Okay, look at that. I think we're actually live. So I'm just checking. Just make sure that the microphone is working. And let's get to the, the big deal here. Last day available for Google Hangouts broadcast. I thought I'd do a special. See, I'm not seeing it here. Where's my live? Where's my live stream? What's going on? Stop broadcast. Okay, is it not working? Oh, there I am. Okay, great. Now I just want to hear myself. So I know that. Here, where's my life? Where's my life? There we go. Okay. All right. So this is probably the last one, and I'm just going to move right into the material here. Uh, these are pictures that I have taken from a, a few different sources. Kind of don't remember where right now. This one, um, maybe a Google search or maybe Randall Carlson's. These are markings in the Amazon and it's really the final thing on this American Earthworks part of the video. These videos will be compiled into a single video, some editing, and I'm going to make final statements on this whole Atlantis and the Rashad structure thing, especially with the, uh, gosh, I'm so bad at remembering, uh, let me just look at my history real quick so I can show you the video. Because if you're not aware of this, then I'm not doing service as to telling everybody what's going on. Okay, so as you can see, oh, it's not going to show up. I was probably way back here. Oh, I've been through so many videos since I started that video yesterday. Right about, where is it? Oh, it must be here. Joss Sergison's. Is he going to show it here? And now it just. Let me go that one more time. Josh Sergison's trip to the Rashad's video. It was like two hours long. It was like really super long. Ugh, what's wrong with this thing? It's going to be here, where, where, where. And it just seems, you know, YouTube's doing this all the time, not putting certain videos in my history. Okay, let's assume that it's a little farther past that. There it is. Well, no, see, that's not it. But I can at least go to a site. World Alternative Media, Josh Sergidson, has completed his so-called Rashad Structure Visit documentary. Now, I watched the whole thing. There was one part I skipped. I'll probably go back. I just wanted to get to the the thing was he showed his whole trip and how hard it is to actually get there. And I didn't realize at the time that guy Graham was also um, meeting him there. So Graham did his own video, but then it seems like Graham has removed those videos from his channel. <clears throat> okay. That being said, you know, the, the, the thing that I want to mention is this whole Chris Tollworthy video that I showcased a while back. That video implies two things that I think are really strong if there's going to be an Atlantis connection to the Rashad, and that is the view from the mountains from the north. Well, okay, there's two things. Uh, they have the measurements of the concentric circles. I really want to do an in-depth look at that. I really want to do a in-depth look at the um, at the measurements Plato gave. And I want to really compare those numbers to what we have at the Rashad. That's one thing that I haven't done. I keep wanting to try to do it, and uh, it seems like I always get into a dead end about these units of measurement. And then Randall Carlson, he started talking about units of measurement, and I really got into it. So... Who do we have watching today? So this is basically, um, let me go through this material because I, I collected it and I want to get it online. This is probably the last hangout. As the message said, today's the last day. If you're not sure what I'm talking about. Okay, there's the pictures I started to show. Let's put that aside. It's right here. Where is it? Oh, I don't, I didn't save it here. Saved other stuff, but not what I was talking about. Okay, so let's just go through these pictures really quick. Why am I getting NBA Live 
in Chinese. Okay, so I do have a viewer. Thank you, Laboom. I guess I was so surprised. Hi, ni hao. I guess you speak Chinese. So here we are in the Amazon. That's just a little line drawing of structures that have been found. Here's a represented, a rep, uh, like a illustration of, I don't know, I'd like to see that one. But you see basically mounds and people living amongst them. I, I don't think people really lived amongst them as much, maybe a little bit, but these are really, I think, to align the stars with certain things in the distance. So they're standing up here. Thank you. They're standing up here on these mounds, aligning equinoxes and other points where the sun will go into the horizon. That's their calendar. Those were their calendars back then. So they're, they're looking at these stars and they're saying, okay, now my favorite star is coming up this month or whatever. I don't know exactly the process, but they use these mounds to align distant horizontal. And when I say horizontal, I mean the horizon, horizontal, horizontal <clears throat> heavenly stars. And so we see here these, this is from Google searches, new earthworks found. Okay, this is a LIDAR and I'm not sure where that is, but it's not to call. So I think it's the Amazon. There's another one of to call here. This is just kind of some kind of a weird to call. Um, I don't know if it's even a drawing or what. It's not LIDAR. I went there. I didn't make it to the pyramids, but I was close and I was just a dumb teenager. Okay, uh, the reason why that was there was because Graham Hancock brought it up uh, that they found a lot of new structures in Tikal, Guatemala by LIDAR. I lived in Guatemala for six months, so here's Tikal again, and the, they found other structures that weren't really seen um, for years and years. Even though they, the main pyramids were found, they found all these other mini complexes that hadn't been discovered yet. But the, let's be honest, the truth is, is that you, you really do know that people knew about them. They just didn't want it to come out. So you get these truncated mounds and truncated pyramids. Those were used, well, I don't know about uh, here, but probably for aligning distant astrological, astronomical events between the horizon and equinoxes. This is um, basically... Uh, Kind of like a stone megalithic structure that was torn apart. Look how that's just like torn apart. Some major cataclysmic event damaged the hell out of that. Some more structures in the Amazon forest. And uh, one of my favorites, it was just so deep and so thick. So, I mean, they can see the road going right through it. So these structures are predicted to be 10,000, 13,000 years old. And here we have the octagon that you also see in North America, in Ohio, all over. Randall Carlson, the last video that I did showed those. These are a little inferior compared to the ones that are drawn. I guess they all have their, their little issues. And also 15,000 years is a long time. But when we say Stonehenge, I guess the henge is really the structure below it, as Graham Hancock was saying on the Joe Rogan clip that I just just finished watching. These, I mean, that right there, you can see how that was an, a, a river went through there and cut away the edge of the henge. They usually build these henges near rivers. And here's some more. I mean, obviously, the difference that we have between North America and South America is that the North America has been capitalized and real estate has been bought and sold and controlled. But the South American Amazon forest uh, just cleared. These things are just discovered in the last 20 years, 30 years, whatever, maybe 15, maybe 10. Here's another picture of that same henge where the river eroded the edge and then stopped being a river. So this created an escarpment here that ate away at the edge of the hinge. Here's a 
Rio Bronco. I got that from where the survivors wake up. So this is a few years ago. This is, uh, I'll show you the year in a moment. These hinges in the Amazon that when they were just becoming discovered, look at this website here, jqjjacobs.net slash Andes. So that might be an interesting website to visit. I'd like to go see that. I just saw that. <clears throat> a couple hinges here. I'm not sure how well you can see this. My monitor is giving up. Monitor is giving up. <clears throat> so this is taken from um, when the survivors wake up from New Earth. I think we have a date down here now, don't we? Not yet. It's going to come up in a sec. There's a nice one. The edge is so deep. I mean, it's almost as deep as a tree. Like, you could walk there and nobody would see you. It's pretty high. We're talking about 10 feet, 15 feet. Ancient, okay, ancient hinges found in South America. Oh, well. I know I'm sort of sad because I'm not seeing my regular crowd. Amazon or uh, YouTube is just uh, Amazon. Why am I even bringing Amazon up? So you can see a road that goes right across. This is from when the survivors wake up. I guess I cut out the, the title for all of these pictures. I didn't want to. You can see it's New Earth. New Earth is a channel, and megalith.org is the website. And you're going to see megalith.org in a lot of my stuff. And we're back to the beginning. So uh, the thing that I wanted to let me kind of go over some other stuff before I sign off for possibly the last time with these live events. Okay, what's this? That was a nice one. I like this at the end of uh, a World Alternative Media's uh, he had a picture of Brian Forrester standing next to that one. And I, by the way, I need to find out the specific name of this. I believe it's in Egypt. And it's megalithic, me megalithic stone. Very nice. Very, uh, I don't want to say polygonal, but um, it's the same quality of polygonal carving there. You know, it's nice and tight. You can't get But then you can see the cataclysmic event that has occurred to this and then there's brian forrester this takes me back to the beginning because uh he was the one that showed this in his in his at first i saw it on his channel first this thing and you don't have a picture of him next to it so when i saw this i thought wow where do you get that from but yeah cataclysmic uh damage to megalithic stonework definitely makes me feel like one of the big cataclysmic events was some type of a comet tail or CME. Probably, I think, maybe CME. Okay, so this is just some other stuff. Don't ignore that. Um, this is from Randall Carlson's Sacred Geometry International where he shows that the, the units of measurement that they were using show the uh, Earth-Moon ratio compared to the pyramids. I'm not going to get into that. It's very long. Masonic temple near my house. Okay, this is not really... So I was just collecting some information, and I do like to show that. I want to get a hold of this book on the left. These are some rocks that uh, Josh Sherguson were examining, and I thought that was really cool. There, we finally see the title. This is so smooth. You know, if anything, if you want to talk about megalithic evidence, I like how smooth that is. It looks like it's a marble surface. Okay, somebody's making noise outside my place. This was interesting, this rock with little ding holes in it. I thought that had to be some type of evidence. Little divots on both sides of the rock. What, what is that? That has to be something man-made, in my opinion. So that's it. That's all I got? Okay, that's it. That's all I got. There was one more thing, but I, I hid them away. I think I can find them this way, going up here like this. I just... Okay, I'll just do it really fast because I don't want to waste the opportunity. This is that New Earth 
This is a different video, the gigantic megaliths of Ural Mountains in Russia. I really suggest this channel. See, she's done a lot of stuff. Look at those. She's done a lot of stuff, a lot of collection, and the website is megaliths.org. See, that's the website I was showing here, not that, this, because I, I selected poly polygonal stone masonry, and they've collected a website they've created. Can I zoom in here a little bit? Make it bigger. They've created a collection of all the different ones, and you can feel right. See, now you can't see it. That's a nice one. Peru. There's a lot of underwater ones recorded here, too. So thank God for sites like this to compile and make it. <clears throat> I've never heard of that one. So the website is megaliths.org. This is slash browse slash category slash three. I'm not going to slow down. I'm actually trying to finish this video up and get it finished. This channel's gone to SHIT because now I'm only making 12 bucks a month again for some reason. So my idea is we're just going to take these videos and put them up on a new channel. I'm going to re-edit them, and I may or may not leave them on this channel. Probably leave them on here. So megalithic structures around the world. And that's why I don't care whether or not the Rashad structure are the concentric rigs that Plato wrote about and whether it was the Atlantean nation that that Herodotus put on a map. Definitely Atlanteans lived around the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, obviously, we've got 13,000-year-old previous cultures that we don't know about, that we've we've lost touch with. Thank you for your time with me today and your time on my channel. There was a few other things I was going to show you. I'm just going to zip through them right here. I think it's – so let me just go through real quick. So the thing is, is that they're too hard to see, and I wanted to prepare it a little more. So I'm not going to really talk – there's just a couple of things on here that um, – oh, yeah, the dolums. So these are the, let me just go through until I find the dolums. The sulfur, it's very interesting. This is the uh, the one that I've done already, a quick video on. I forgot the name, it's Russian. Some steps. <laughs> Definitely some really nice grabs. She's talking about that black mountain. It's supposed to be a pyramid. Some keyholes right there. This is in the Ural Mountains in Russia. Megalithic polygonal keyholes using stones to make buildings in a way that uses a. This is the, 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 this, where is this? Oh, see, this is the planet of the dolmens. Okay, so this is the one that I'm talking about. Now, this was the, the last one they did, it was kind of a special one. And I definitely want to research this one more. This is that same Amazonian forest I showed you that's been torn apart. I mean, like, literally just bombed. But these dolmens are all over the world. How do you get a big rock on top of four other rocks with uh, maybe sound vibration technology? Or maybe they lifted it up there. I say they probably just lifted it, but... Some of them are so big. This is New Earth 2015, Turkey. I just tried to get a variety of different locations. They actually had many, many more. You might want to check this video out, Planet of the Dolmens. <clears throat> They're talking about soft and stone technique. Some really beautiful pictures here. Looks like they used some artificial lighting on that one. See, my monitor is breaking, so I can't even see these. So that's it. 
Okay, there's a couple more actually. And then the underwater stuff I got from her as well. You might want to check some of that out. I've, I've gone over this before, so I'm not going to go over it again. But there was a connection between the ones by Miami and Wisconsin, a road, a possible road that was – now, this is not North America. This is Ecuador, so there's another comparison there. I'm going backwards here. Yeah, the Benmini Road and the Ancient Road in northwestern Wisconsin. Look at that. Okay. Beautiful music on that video. So go to that one point in the video. But not now. Okay, that's it. I'm going to stop talking about this. Have a great day. And maybe we'll have some solution where I can do this again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.